This is where drag brake will work pretty well going down this hill here. So far working pretty good. Now we go up the hill. This is where the torque come in, comes in to play. Try not to fall. Around this rock. like doing is going up this rock here so try to get a different angle back it up real quick easy as lemon squeezy For some, this might be a little difficult. I'm gonna come up around here, go up straight through here, turn, and make sure my growlers um, grip that rock. So this is where weight, shock oil, everything comes into play. So This is where wheel speed also plays a big factor. So you wanna take it nice and slow. Make sure everything grabs. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to back up just a little bit here. Turn, so I'm on here. And not on here. So that way my, my back tires don't grab on there and I flip to the side. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. Letting my truck turn. And grab. There we go. Made it over nice and easy. I'm running the stock shocks, if you guys are wondering. Um, I have them um, upside down to where the springs are lighter on the bottom and the heavier springs are on the top. So yeah, I'm going to continue on this trail.
All right, guys. So sorry about cutting that video off short there. Um, I ran into some people that were interested in my Jeep, and it took like an hour. I stood an hour talking to them. They're pretty cool people. Um, the lady's husband was into RC when he was younger. Uh, talking to him, I probably got him back into it. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna continue with the trail. Uh, I had to come back to the park, to Green Hill, to record the rest of the video, as you guys know from my Instagram. So, I'm taking some time before I go to work to do this, so I don't have to come after I get out, since I'll be so tired. So, we're gonna hit this spot right here. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. It would have been nice to uh, drive through that puddle I, I always drove through over here at this park. But sadly, I don't think I have enough time to make it over there. But we're going to go ahead and continue along this trail right here and then head back down and see what else we can crawl over. Now, the reason I did wet these tires was to see if I can get any traction on the rock still. Um, because I've noticed sometimes where... Um, my truck wouldn't climb that well with wet tires. So for an example, um, I crawled up this rock right here. So I'm going to attempt it one more time. I'm going to bring my truck back down here and I'm going to see if the truck can make it up. I'm going to go wet the tires real quick again. I'm going to try to crawl over these lumps right here and grab my tires around here and then turn. See if I can make it up. I'm gonna not use too much wheel speed, just creep it a little bit. As you see, it's it struggles a little bit, but then it grabs. Oh, lost my line. I want that that left tire to grab right there. All right. Oh, a little bit back flex. Let's get my back tire up on here. You can hear the tires. Probably can't see them that well. They're itching for some grip, and there you go.
So I'm coming to a point where I'm gonna have to either go that way and go down really hard or try to figure out a way where I can go sideways here and somehow not flip entirely over. Um, those are my options pretty much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, since I have a pretty decent suspension, I'm gonna go up through there and just come down. So I'll meet you on the other side. Well then that didn't go too well, did it? I guess I powered into it too much, but that's okay. Just gonna set it up here and keep on going. Quick hill climb. Well, more like a rock climb. Nice and slow. Some flux for you guys. <laughs> Letting that drag brake work on its own. I always tell myself, the way going back is always like the most difficult for some reason. Now I have to try to figure out how to squeeze through here. So this is the way I'm going to attempt it. And I got through. <laughs> that was the first. I always had trouble going through that little spot um, when I used to come here. Same thing with here, I would always tumble down. See if I not tumble down this time. So I do have the shock set up completely differently from how it used to be when I last bought this truck here. There we go. So the Jeep did well, better than I imagined it would only tweaks I have to do to it is um, a little bit of extra weights in the front like those small tabs of weights um, I'm gonna end up putting like on the insides of this bumper here um, probably some on the axle or on the chassis itself just to better the crawl um, again with the tires I'll probably cut some lugs like cut every other lug out on the pit bulls to give it a better grip. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, I, I have a plan for this truck hopefully to make it more powerful more into a beast um, but you guys are gonna have to wait for that hopefully I'll be picking up those parts um, later this week but again you guys are gonna have to wait for that so Stay tuned for another video from RC Alvi Steve, and I'll catch you in the next one.